Hi guys, welcome. Welcome back to my channel. If this is your first time here, my name is Janelle Veronica and I post makeup videos twice a week. The days are not set on which I post, so make sure that you turn your notification bell on so that you never miss any of my uploads. Okay, and make sure that you subscribe while you are at it. Today I want to go through my makeup base, a sweat proof makeup base. This is what I am doing when I know that I'm going to be out partying, when I'm going out to brunch, going out to lunch, when outside is going to be hot and they want my makeup to stay in place and never move. This is what I am doing. So I'm going to walk you through that today. Today's video should be very quick, very simple. Just something that you can have as a reference for if you want sweat proof makeup during the summer hot months. Good. So intro, short and sweet. Let me get to work and show you how I pull off my sweat proof makeup routine. Now the first product, I already have my skincare on moisturizer serums all that good stuff sunscreen everything that has been sitting on my skin for like 15 minutes and sinking in always wear your sunscreen your sun protection during the summer months if there's a light out wear your sun protection all right now i'm gonna prep my skin today with the maron makeup skin prep pro it says it allows makeup to last longer under stressful performance conditions. Now this is what like theater performers use on their skin to make sure that the makeup stays in place. This thing really works. I used this on my channel like once, like two years ago. And let me tell you, this is spectacular. This is what I draw for when I really want my makeup to last. So I'm just gonna go in. I ran out of cotton pads, so I have cotton balls. And I'm just gonna gently massage that. You know, paying attention to the T-zone, the areas that really get oily. I'm gonna let it just dry down for a little bit. And I know sometimes you see people putting on like six different primers. You don't need six different primers to make your makeup sweat proof. If it works for you and you like it, keep on doing it. But for me personally, I don't need, I don't find I like when I layer so many primers on my skin just to make my makeup sweat proof when I can go in with my Maron Makeup Skin Prep Pro. This thing, this, this is bomb. This is absolutely bomb. Now it gets a little tacky, not too, too tacky, but a little tacky. I'm gonna go in with my foundation now. So that replaces your primer. I'm gonna use my Fenty Soft Matte um, Long Wear Foundation today. It's long wearing, so it's also going to last throughout the heat. And the shade that I'm going with is 440. And we'll just blend that out with a real technique sponge. This foundation looks a little bit like when you first apply it to the skin, it looks a little orange, but it oxidizes. And so just make sure you go into the store and you choose your shade in store where you can actually test the product out test it out let it settle and see what shade is best for you i went in with about three pumps of the foundation they're very they're not very large pumps like a medium pump and so three pumps was enough to do my full face now i'm going to reinforce this and set my foundation. I'm going to go in with another hero product, the Benai Final Seal Matte Makeup Sealer. 
this spray nozzle is so aggressive so hold it far away from your face while you're spraying it Now for concealer, I'm going to go in with my L'Oreal Infallible Full Wear More Than Concealer in the shade 415 Honey. It's very affordable and I find this holds up. It's full coverage. It's nice and it's creamy but it holds up. While that dries down a little bit, I'm going to contour with my Juvia's Place Shade Stick in Capsina. I find when I use the Skin Prep Pro and just as a warning, anything that you put on top of that, because it is so good at keeping the makeup in check, anything that you put on top of it, I find you have to work a little bit quicker when you're blending it out. Alright, so that's just an F. Why I bear that in mind. Alright, I'm going to switch to my callus sponge and blend the concealer out. I'm also going to take some of that concealer over my eyes. We're not doing eyeshadow today. I'm just focusing on the base, but I'm just going to put bronzer on my lid. So I'm going to take some of that concealer over the lid to prep. All right, and look at that. That base is looking so good. We are nicely highlighted, not too, too bright. But we are highlighted in the center of the face, nicely contoured around the perimeter. The foundation is absolutely beautiful. Now to set, I'm going to use my Laura Mercier. I love the Laura Mercier setting powder because I find it's very matte and it is long lasting. So the shade that I use is Honey. Now I always set my foundation, always, because I have oily skin. I'm going to use the Fenty Pro Filter Soft Matte Powder Foundation in the shade 450. So I'm just going to go in with a brush. Ooh, this complexion, this base, this base is looking so good. I'm going to double set. I'm going to go in with my Black Opal Finishing Powder. It's a finishing powder so it smooths the makeup out, makes the makeup look a little bit more flawless and blurred. The shade that I use is 600 Dark. I found I only recently started going in with a finishing powder and I absolutely love the way, look how that just blurs the complexion. I love the way how it makes the makeup look. So my face is going to look very matte now, but remember I have to spray it at the end. So it will look a little bit more lived in and not as, not as matte. For my bronzer, I'm going to use my Juvia's Place bronzer in dark. And I'm going to go in with the darker shade at first. This is my Ashley Lee P04 brush that I'm using. And 
we're not going in with any cream bronzers or any cream blushes just a lot of powdered products because I find those last longer keep the makeup in place the creams will normally slip and slide So now that that is done, I normally then, I started going in with the lighter one, a little bit higher, just to help blend. I find this gives me a more seamless blush look. All right, so that's why I love this Juvia's Place Duo, because you have the two shades, the darker shade, and the lighter shade and you can use both of them I'm going to go in with the lighter shade I'm starting from the head I normally start from the head of my brow and drag it down the side of my nose I'm just going to use this I don't use a cream contour I use the powder my bronzer as my contour I find it looks a little bit more subtle I'm just going to go in and set down the bridge of my nose where I highlighted. All right, so that base, that base, this base is looking so good, so cute. And we took the extra steps to make sure that it will last. I'm just going to do my brows, put a little browser on my browser. Why did I say browser? A little bit of bronzer on my lids and then just come back do my blush and do a lip and wrap up the look all right guys so I just popped my lashes on as I said just a little bit of bronzer on the lid today for blush I'm gonna go in with a powder blush no cream blush a powder blush this is the Revlon powder blush in the shade very berry and this is my real techniques 400 blush brush I'm just gonna pick up some of that I'm going to apply it higher up on the cheekbone today. This is such a pretty blush. It's like the perfect pink with a slight hint of like mauve in it. So flattering and so lovely. eye perfection and blurring this is the morphe m554 tapered paddle brush this is the laura mercier laura mercier setting powder that we used earlier dip the brush in shake the excess off going and press really press because you don't want the powder to be sitting on top of the skin and give you flashback when you take your photos or anything like that so you really work it in and press it in. And I find this helps to blend the under eye into the blush nicely as well. I'm gonna set again with that Magic Setting Liquid. The Magic, what is it called? Not a setting powder. What is it called? Setting Spray, the Benai Final Sale Matte Makeup Setting Spray. Again, I'm going to hold it a mile away from my face. This is like magic. I'm going to go in with my Revlon Skin Lights Prismatic Highlighter in the color Gilded Dawn in the corner down the nose all right let me do a quick lip morphe lip pencil in trend setter i 
LA Colors Matte Lipstick in the color Tender, a light pink. Alright guys, I'm not even going to top that with a gloss. That lip is so beautiful. Hold on, hold on. Alright, and that, my dear, is my sweat proof, my dears, my lovely, lovely people who stick along for my extremely long videos. Anyhow, I hope today's video was very short, but this is my sweat proof makeup routine. If you want your makeup to be sweat proof, you have to get the Maron Makeup Skin Prep Pro, this thing. As I said, it is used in like the performance arts. So like dancers, for example, in the theatre, this is what they use to prep the skin. Always spray your foundation as well and just lock in that extra layer of protection and sweat proofness, if sweat proofness is a word. And finally, the Ben I Final Seal. seal makeup setting spray i used a lot of powder products today no cream products to be melting and slipping and sliding i think the base looks nice we are nicely we are highlighted in the center bronze because it's summertime nicely blushed and i like it and i hope you guys like it as well i hope you found this helpful if you did don't forget to give the video a thumbs up if you're not subscribed, make sure that you subscribe and join the family here in Makeup Land. We are all about the makeup. So until next time, my dears, I want you to have a fabulous day. Be fantastic as always. And I will see you in my next video. Bye, guys.